organization in terms of how we deal with it. And a section of stakeholders drawn from the media and education sectors have raised concern over cases of human rights violations in a number of stories packaged by journalists. The stakeholders who met during the launch of a new curriculum designed to train journalists on human rights reporting reiterated the need for caution among journalists as part of efforts to protect the integrity of the profession. Speaking during the launch of a new curriculum designed to train journalists on human rights reporting, Professor Nancy Booker of the Aga Khan University cited instances where journalists have breached basic human rights in their line of work. Issues around the coverage of, of children, you know, and we increasingly are seeing, you know, instances where children are covered and you ask yourself, you know, was it consent of parents, for example, or guardians sought as some of this was done. Issues around uh, the right to privacy and, and hate speech. The curriculum, which has been designed in collaboration with a non-governmental organization, Journalists for Human Rights, aims at enhancing awareness among journalists on the need to respect people's rights as they chase their stories. It's going to improve even how they look at the subjects. In, in, in other words, the people they cover in stories. Uh, it's going to change their approach to writing the lead. We are struggling with reactionary kind of stories, that a woman has been raped, and that's the end of the story, sensational kind of reporting. And I believe this curricula is going to not only talk about uh, journalism with impact, but actually journalism that is going to give a story in context. We believe societies are better off when people feel that their rights are respected and protected, and everyone in that society or community develops an understanding standing of a common responsibility to uh, make human rights a reality in their community. So what I love about this is it takes education, it looks at education and how we explain human rights and what it means, and the media. So how does the media explain human rights in layperson's language so it's accessible to everybody? The forum brought together different stakeholders drawn from the media and academia who pledged to work together to safeguard professionalism in journalism. We want to see that it's an industry that gets respected, it's an industry that obeys human rights understanding. Once we internalize it in uh, different locations in short in terms of short courses, then we can we can, you know, if you realize that slowly we are having a balanced reporting on uh, on, on violations, on human rights uh, issues and all that. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV. And property of unknown value.